Hello and welcome to the second episode of our weekly Unity Tip Roundup, where we take a look at the tweets that are posted or mentioned on or around each Tuesday under the Unity Tips hashtag. Last week we started the series off with a list of 5 very good tips and got some good feedback encouraging us to continue. One thing that made us really happy was the messages from the creators that were mentioned who really seemed to be happy about the shoutout. For this episode we will take a look at tweets from around the 18th of January 2022. Let's start off with a tip from Luis Moreira. He has 70 followers and is currently working on his pixel art metroidvania style game Moon Shoujo Quest. You can find more information on his profile or on his itch.io page. His advice is to not shy away from using rule tiles on your 2D projects because they speed up your level creation process. Give it a try and see their versatility for yourself. CubeLine is the next entry on our list. He is creating Second Moon, a crafting sci-fi game about exploration and survival. Check out his profile and join the ranks of his 72 followers to learn more about his project. What he wants you to know is that there is no need to write a complicated language system from scratch because the localization plugin in Unity already brings a lot of functionality to the table. It can automatically update text mesh objects and others and pull data from Google Sheets. With 1272 followers, a senior developer at Unity Technologies sneakily got into our list. Carl Jones is making UI and localization tools. He also is a STEM ambassador, open source developer and of course a gamer. So this tip comes straight from the source. He shows us how to hide interfaces from the user if there is no need for him to know about them by using explicit interface implementation. Check out the code example in his post. He also included a link to the c -sharp documentation to read more about the topic. If you are currently working on a game which includes vehicles and physics, then this tip from the aptly named user Vehicle Physics may help you. He is the creator of Eddie's Vehicle Physics and Vehicle Physics Pro for Unity and an overall Vehicle Physics Guru. We have to admit, the name already gave it away. He has an impressive 2341 followers. His tip is for those missing their wheel collider outlines in Unity and he provides a simple step-by-step -step explanation how to enable them. For more information you can follow the link to the Unity forum in his post. A familiar name shows up again. We already had an entry from Sunny Valley Studio last week and Peter is back with another tip and 339 followers. There are 14 more than last week. Let us see that number increase by giving him some more follows. Again, this is something for the 2D projects out there. It is the very useful tip that you can customize the collider shape of each of your sprites with the sprite editor. He mentions that this is especially useful when using tilemaps and tilemap colliders. To make it easier to understand, he also added a link to a detailed tutorial video. And of course, we ourselves did not break our run of continually sharing a Unity tip over the last two years without a single miss. This week we show you a little trick that we used extensively on our game Beam. It takes place in a lot of destroyed or derelict environments which, of course, require a lot of flames and smoke. And to make these flames look more interesting, we wrote a little script to make them dance. It looks pretty nice and if you want to get a similar effect, you can check out the paste link from the post. Free script, yay! And this already concludes our second episode and again, we hope that we could add to your Unity knowledge and maybe help out with the problem. If this is the case, please consider showing the creators your appreciation by leaving them a follow and retweeting their posts, that will help a lot. If you liked this video and want to see what we come up with next week, consider subscribing to our channel. Questions, suggestions or anything you want to tell us, please post it to the comments. Thank you for your time and see you next week.